please stand for the pledge of the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Gabe. And I'm Julia. And this is Pope TV. Chick-fil-A biscuits are back. Support FBLA and buy your Chick-fil-A biscuit Friday morning, only $3. The American Sign Language Club will be having a meeting on Tuesday the 29th in room 101 at 745. New members are welcome. Do you love baseball? Do you want to be part of the Pope High School Baseball State Champions program? If so, please see Ms. Kitchens in room 112 to apply to be a Diamond Girl. We are looking for 15 dedicated girls to work on the concession stands for all home baseball games. Now to Chance and Ali with the sports. This is Chan. Hi, with the sports. Now the news. Congrats to the girls' basketball team on their victories over Dunwoody and Alpharetta over the weekend. Taya Holloman had a buzzer-beating layup to give the Hounds a 59-58 OT win over Alpharetta. What a game. Great job, Coach Blythe and the girls. And thank you for everybody that came out and supported. Thank you. Also, a big congratulations to the boys' basketball team for beating Alpharetta 60-51 to on Saturday night. High scores for the Hounds was Ross Shepard with 20 points. Ryan Billick had 8 points with 15 rebounds. Good job, big boy. Keep rolling, man. The basketball teams are playing at home for senior night against the Barry. On Saturday, girls 4 o'clock, boys at 5.30. I need everybody to be there for senior night and support. It's going to get teed up. Good luck and get the W. Congratulations to the swim teams. The girls and boys both placed second in the Mountain Madness swim meet last Saturday. And congrats to diver Casey Harrison for placing first in the dive meet last Friday and Lauren Burrell for placing third. Great job, swim and dive teams. Good luck this weekend at the Cobb County Swim Meet. Swim. Congratulations to the wrestling team on their fifth place finish over the weekend in their state duels. On Saturday, the men are competing at home in the Let's See Match fundraiser in the Pope Quads. Wrestling starts at 9 a.m. And good luck to all the spring athletes that are gearing up for the upcoming season. Bundle up, men and women. Old man winter is in town. Yes, he Bro, is. Bro, Savvy is It's a on little breezy, am I right? Let's go. Uh, back to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good luck to the fencing team. This Saturday, they are competing in the Fencing High School Championship at Chattahoochee High School. Our girls are ranked number one. Get the job done, sword fighters. Rising juniors and seniors that are interested in taking leadership next year, make sure you stop by room 209 or Learning Commons for an application. Deadline to submit your application is February 8th. Congratulations to Coke Trenacost's first period class, our GNN Viewers of the Week. This is the GNN First Period Viewers of the Week. Congratulations to Coach Trinicoff for being our viewers of the week. We did it! We did it! Okay. This is for all of you. You want to say something? Yes. I, I got, you all want to say something? What do you want to say? This is all for you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. No problem. Our Greyhound Snide of the Week goes out to Ricky. Ricky is a retired racing Greyhound who spent his time scrapbooking and browsing Pinterest for creative craft ideas. Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Greyhounds. Greyhounds. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. Oh, our girls are ranked number 11. Get the job done. Sword number fight. one! <laughs> oh, yo, that's an exclamation <laughs> point. Do you want to go Santa Claus? Yes. Diver and Casey and I do. I just... That was awful. Let's go, bro. Oh, my God.